Hello, my name is Judy Human. I've met a number of you in the audience today when Kala would bring me over to Finland to visit or in my capacity when I work at the State Department coming over to work with you all. We're here today to remember Kala. And like for many of you in the room, the loss of Kala on September 11th was a real shock. He has been an important part of my life since 1972, when we first met in Norway. We were part of a small group of disabled and non-disabled people that had been chosen to come to Norway for 10 days to participate in an International Red Cross Youth Camp. The purpose of our meeting was to talk about what was going on in the communities of disabled and non-disabled people and what we could be doing more to advance inclusion or integration or the rights of disabled people. I don't remember the exact second that I met Kala, but I certainly remember that I was spending a lot of time with him. It's really happened to me throughout my life. I feel very privileged to have been able to be with Kala who really was kind of like a fine wine, that as he got older, he got better. I learned from him. I think he learned some from me. I loved being with him because of his creativity. He had a very strong personality, as you know. He was relentless and over the years really became a statesman. He was able to speak to people from any walk of life and as I've been reflecting on our 46 years friendship, I remember when I first went, first and only time, I went to Lapland. And we were on sleds with reindeer, having great fun. And then after that, we went to visit a family, a mother who had a child with a significant disability, and talked with her. And of course, she admired Kala. And then we went out uh, with Maya and Kala in the evening, dancing and drinking. And I remember when one of the patrons in the bar, a little bit drunk, came over to talk to Kala. That was Kala. He was active in everything. He lived life to his fullest. He lived life in a way that most people with a disability or not live their lives. He loved Baroque music. He loved flowers. He loved his vacations. He loved taking on challenges. So when I think about things that Kala significantly touched, the establishment of Disabled Peoples International, his relentless work on the Convention on the Rights of Persons with Disabilities, the work that he did in establishing Kinnis and Abolis. Abolis, the only foundation in the world run by disabled people to support the rights of disabled people. I get emotional because as like all of you, we start thinking about what we did with Kala. For me, it's very important that I continue to live my life fighting for what is right, fighting for the independent living movement, for human rights, for civil rights, fighting for every individual in the poorest part of this world to make sure that no voice is left unheard. Some of the exciting things that I did with Kala was in Africa when the Finnish embassy and the US embassy would do work together. And I remember when we had worked on getting the first light rail system in Ethiopia, giving some guidance for the rail system, light rail system to be accessible. And how Kala and I and the ambassador from Finland and deputy ambassador to the US embassy in Ethiopia went riding on that train. I remember the faces that lit up when Kala would meet them in different parts of the world. He was a listener. He was able to really impassionately fight for the rights of people. He made people listen. I want to say in my parting message 
that Kale and I, whenever we got together, we also shared our meals together. We used to decide what we wanted to eat. We would never finish even one meal together, but it was always a wonderful opportunity to see how we could compromise together. Kala was a compromiser, a fighter, a negotiator. He also loved his orange juice. So as I give my last thought, that I hope Kala will not rest in peace. I hope Kala will fight wherever he is to continue to make our universe a better place. Let's take what we love about him and live through his dreams and help continue to create a better world for all. A little bit of orange juice, l'chaim.